It is all over. Hey, everybody, welcome to another interview with one of our community members from the Days community. Today, we have with us Jason Peace. Uh, Jason, welcome, man. Uh, nice to talk to you today, buddy. And you, how's it been going? Very good, going very good. How about yourself? I'm not too bad. I'm just slightly bored because this um, shut down, but it's just one of the things you have to take into consideration so yeah yeah it's a, been a strange time for everybody for sure man um so i know you're from you're from england what um what part of england do you live in um a little town in between liverpool and manchester called Barnton. okay all right all right very cool i know you're uh you're a fan of wrestling and uh, obviously you're you're a member of the days community so why don't we start there and tell us um tell us how long you've been a member of the community and uh and and how did you find it what got you into the community um i've been a community member for since 2017 um i got to know days because of um because i was i was one of those people that had to watch wrestling on my own like he does so i was just like i don't want to watch it on my own anymore because it's just like it's so boring and then it's just yeah and then i, I searched up live streams for wrestling like more than that down and i saw toy points from wrestling days or days so i was like okay that's what was like and then he just made me laugh and then on Monday, for like Monday at Raw, I saw him lit streaming, and that's when I put my first um, super chat in, my first super chat, and I was like, oh yeah, that's this is mine now, <laughs> staying nice. in there. I've watched it ever since. So. Oh, okay, very cool. So you got in it when you started watching his toy videos uh, back when, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. That's cool. You also, you've been with the community for a while, um, since mm -hmm. 2017. Very cool. Very cool, man. Um, so you already said what uh, what attracted you to it was just the commentary um, that he has, and, and also yes, the, also the fact that he made you laugh and stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool, man. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what, uh, what got you started liking wrestling? Um, how, how long have you, how long have you watched wrestling now? To be honest, I've lost count. I think it was 2010, 2011, I'm not too sure. It, it was WrestleMania that John, Johnny versus Teddy at WrestleMania and one of them gets fired afterwards or something like that. I think it was, um, I think that was it. I think it was WrestleMania 30, no, not 30. 27. Okay. I think it was, yeah, WrestleMania 27. Okay. When I watched WrestleMania, so it was, yeah, WrestleMania 30, um, 27. Okay. So you've been watching for about, you said what, about 10 years now, you said? Coming up, coming up to 10 years, yeah. Coming up on 10 years? Okay. All right. Um, any particular brands that you're watching now? I mean, are, are you strictly WWE or do you watch AEW? Do you watch I NXT? Prefer. So WWE, NXT, Impact, uh, New Japan, AEW, all wow. them lot. Okay, so you watch them all. I love them all. Wow, that's cool. I don't know too much about Impact. I mean, do you are you enjoying Impact? And if so, just um, you know, tell the community a little bit about it because I don't think I don't think we watch too much. I know Days did that one stream um, a little bit ago, but you know, what what, what do you yeah. what do you like about Impact? Um, I lost interest in it when it went into the octagon ring. I'm not. I wasn't too keen on that. I lost interest then, but when it went back to a square drink. I was like, okay, this looks better. And they got more structure. Now these days, it's just, we've got like, uh, like RVD and stuff like that. It's just like, it's really good. It's really good. Even though it's sometimes tend to be a little bit, how do you say not boring, but it's getting a bit 
updated, if you mean. Okay. Okay. Are they doing the same thing now with the no fans in the in the building uh, stuff? Um, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Soon. Yeah. I would imagine that they are. I mean, everybody is to a point. I just didn't know if they were still recording, um, you know, shows or were they were they doing different things like promos and stuff like that instead or. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, okay. Yeah, they, I'm had, not too sure they had some stuff previously filmed. Oh, did they? Um, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. They had they had quite a few shows uh, that they had previously filmed. So yeah, they they were in pretty good shape going into it. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. Cool. Well, um, who? So what? Who was your favorite wrestler? I mean, uh, of all the companies, who who is it that you really like? Or I mean, if you have a couple, you can. You know, you talk about that too. I've got a couple. Okay. I've got a match that is my favorite as well. Um, just letting you know as well. I've got a match that's my favorite as well. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let us know what the, uh, let us know what the match is and then uh, we can go into who your favorite wrestlers are. The Rock versus John Cena, number two. Okay. Cool. Um, that one was the, the first WrestleMania I ever watched. Okay. Oh, sorry. So I was like, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 That was a, it was a, yeah, it was, it was a great show, um, obviously. So, yes. I mean, who, what, um, what wrestler is your, I mean, who are your favorite wrestlers actually right now? Are there any, there anybody that you watch all the time? Braun Strowman. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ron's a, that's a oh. unique answer. So what, what, yeah, what, what, Domino Drew McIntyre as well. Okay. What attracted you to Braun? Uh, you don't hear too many people would name him as, as their favorite out there. He's, he's just like, deep down, he's a teddy bear. Cause I've met him in Brighton when in last in November, um, when I was going to Manchester to see wrestling last November, just gone. Um, he said he's um he's really tough in the ring, but when he's when he's out and seeing fans, he's really like a teddy bear and outside. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I've heard that from other people. Well, that's cool. Well, you must have been happy when he won the title. Yeah, definitely. Well, I guess we'll segue right into the next thing with that. So, I mean, what what do you think of the whole um? What do you think of the whole thing with Fiend and him? And, and I mean, do you think he's going to win that match? Or do you think uh, Bray is, is going to get the title back? Obviously, it's Funhouse Bray, so it's not the Fiend that's wrestling him. But, uh, what, you know, where do you see that going? When me and Jeff and, 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 uh, and Jody were talking about it and, you know, both yeah. kind of thinking that there's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough angle because, you know, you don't really want Bray or the Fiend to lose, but you don't really want Braun to drop the title so fast. So, what do you what do you think is going to happen there? Um, I love Fiend. I'm a massive Fiend fan at the moment. Um, I don't know. He's picking big fights that he might not. Mm. Like, he's making a, making a big scene of a stuff that he might not be able to win. If you mean. But I'm I'm not, I've, I've got a feeling that he might win it, but I'm not I've got I haven't got I've got a chance, but I'm not too sure if he will win it. So I think Braun's gonna win it. Yeah. This time. I don't, I don't think they're gonna take it off of him this soon. No. Um I, I think it would be a mistake to do that. I know Jeff had an opinion uh saying that he thinks that, you know, this this match is basically gonna just help Braun turn back into a heel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I've, I've think. Heard, yeah. Go ahead. I've had um room heard rumors that you might be joining a, a faction with the fiend and going as like an. It's possible. Like Mark II. That, that's yeah. what I've been hearing, but I'm not too sure if it's going to be true. Or not. Yeah, it's certainly possible that can happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't think they'd take it off him this soon. It would really make it look bad. Um, mm. switching the title off of uh, you know taking it away from. Um, from Goldberg so fast, taking it away from Fiend so fast. It's, you know, and then you, if you take it off of him now, I don't know. It just makes the whole thing look silly. So, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah I, I agree. I agree. 
So what do you think is going to, I mean, I'll ask you about some hot topics here that are going on. So what do you think okay. is going to happen tonight at, uh, at SmackDown? I mean, everybody's thinking that, uh, that Fiend's going to uh, attack Triple H. So do you think that that's going to be the case? I've kind of yeah, changed my mind. Yeah. I've got, I've, got a feeling, I've got a feeling that the Fiend might be turning, on, turning off the lights and staring Triple H, just like Sting did, Sting did okay. in, um, a couple of years ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, it very well, well I, could. I think, I think, yeah, I think so. Very well could happen. I've changed my mind a little bit on it because I don't know. I just kind of think they're using this as an angle to get Triple H in the um, in the Money, Money in the Bank match. So yeah. I, I think maybe he's gonna. You know, either way, I, I think he'll be in that match. But I'm now kind of swaying towards that. Um, that they're gonna they're gonna have somebody come out and interrupt this celebration, but I don't know if it'll be Bray. I, I think it might be someone, I don't know, could be a heel like Corbin, uh, you know, could be someone else that comes out and, and interrupts it. And, and I think that that's, what's going to lead to him getting in money in the bank. Cause whoever that is that interrupts that, I think that that'll be yeah. your, you know, that'll be the match there. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I agree on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. I guess it's uh, coming up later tonight, so it'll be interesting to see. How about um, how about the thing that's going on with uh, Drake Maverick? What, what do you what do you think about all that? Um, to be honest, I'm not really happy about that at the moment because he got released on that Black Wednesday or third, um, whenever it was, and then they're taking the mech out of him, saying his career's on the line after he's done that promo on Twitter. I was thinking, this is like a new low for wrestling. Like a new mm. low for WWE to take it that far. And I never knew that it would take it that far. Yeah. So, I, I didn't know what really was going on because I didn't get to see me. the show. Um, but I heard about it after and I heard Days got pretty upset uh, during the stream, um, so really upset. Yeah. I've never seen him like that before. So yeah, like that. yeah, that's that. Yeah, I heard that as well. Um, and I know he was wearing his Drake shirt uh, that he made and and, and <laughs> yeah. everything. So, yeah, I don't know. We we talked a little bit about this yesterday um, with Coaster Maniacs, who was on with us as well. And <laughs> it's it's Crazy. yeah, it's really. It's really tough to figure out because, again, I don't see any good way that they're going to come out of this. Um, Suppose they just made it a bit deeper and deeper hole. Yeah, I'm like, I can't yeah. get out of it now. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't really see how they can come out of this mm -hmm. in a good way. I, I just yeah. don't think there's really any way that they can. I, I mean, I mean, Jeff said that you know, unless they unless they come right out and say, "Listen, we've hired him back." Like right away, yeah. it should. They should say that straight away, and then they. If they don't say that straight away, I'm just. I'm not. I'm not. It's, I know it's one of those things that happens, but it's just they should oh, say it straight away. Yeah, yeah. Have you changed your mind on that at all, Jeff? Or are you still thinking the same thing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they. I just saw actually just saw a report where. They said that he's actually, in fact, not hired back. So, no, brother. Um, no, Jesus. Yeah, so th it just makes it look even worse than what, it, what it originally was. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just I think that they are really creating some bad PR for themselves. Mm -hmm. mm, no, that just sound bad. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I don't know what's going to happen there, but I guess we'll we'll yeah. start to see. So we'll you know we'll we'll see as it goes along. But yeah, I agree, Jeff. I don't think that that's a it's a good look uh, for anyone concerned. Um, all right. So what about the um, and we're going to talk about this on our next podcast. Um, we put a poll out there about it. What do what do you think? Of, what do you what do you think about the hacker thing? So who do you think it is? Do you think it's more than one person? And and who who do you think it is? Some of my friends are saying it might be CM Punk because the circle is on his CM Punk's logo. Circle logo. He's, he's got a circle around it, hasn't he? And there's a circle on the, the screen. And if you put the, the, the bot, lightning bolt in the middle of it, it just looks similar to CM Punk. Um, I've, I know it might be Shorty G and 
um, Ali, but I've got a feeling they're just there to de- distract it all. So it, they're thinking it might be into that, into them, but it isn't. Wow. Okay. Same, so I'm not too sure, but I, I've got a feeling it might be same box. So. Okay. So you're the first person I think we've talked to that has said that. Now I know that's an opinion out there. Everybody, there has been a lot of people thinking the same thing. Um, but mm-hmm. he, so you really think he? You think he'd come back? You think Vince would uh, would open the yes. money money truck up and pay him everything he wants to come back? Because at the moment, wrestling like the views on TV are really low at the moment because of it, because of the pandemic. It's the views going nowhere and nowhere, and Vince doesn't like views being low, and obviously Fox and USA are gonna probably have a word with Vince about some stuff about that. But I've got a feeling it might be that. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Yeah, um, I, yeah, yeah. I did read something today that Vince was saying that. Uh, that he thinks that the views for Raw um, the past couple of weeks have been down because of Brock Lesnar not having the title. Um, so, <laughs> I, I that isn't always the case. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, Vince is you know he Vince is uh, very steady with his opinions, and uh, <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't really like to try new things. So. Um, very true. Taking the belt off of him, I'm sure, probably wasn't an easy thing for Vince to do. Um, and now he, I think he's kind of sidestepping that decision a little bit, not looking at the uh, looking at the ratings. Although, Dave's put out that video last night, too, about the uh, the state of the WWE now and, and how he said that, well, at least up until the pandemic. Um, he said that they yeah. had made – they were making a lot of money, and he said Vince was pretty happy with everything, and he had a pretty yeah, positive was. outlook. So Yeah. <clears throat> But um, yeah, he right. was, and then yeah, I've got so, a question for you. Yeah, sure. What do you think about 2K21 being cancelled? The video game? That's, yeah, that's including you, Jeff, as well. Um, I, uh, I, I haven't. I mean, I got this year's, and pretty much I got it because of the fiend. So I got 2K20. <laughs> Um, yeah. however, I haven't, I hadn't played it before then in a while. Now, a buddy of mine, um, who is actually an indie wrestler, he actually streams with it. Um, he has a, he has a yeah. Facebook account and he streams the game. And now he did something pretty interesting. He created a fantasy league, kind of, he kind of made his own wrestlers and, and created something where him and his friends years and years ago made, you know, the wrestlers in their indie promotion, um, he, they went and created it in the game. So he kind of goes and does that. Now, he didn't have a lot of complaints about 20, but, I mean, 20 was really, really bad. Um, like I, when, when I heard when it actually came out, it, there was already, like, really bad stuff gone to it. it. So I like, oh, oh the, do not buy it. <laughs> the the glitches in it were horrendous. Like, it just – it, it looked – it looked like they, was so funny. Yeah, it, it looked like they rushed it out. Like it wasn't yeah. nearly ready and it just got rushed out. So yeah. I don't know. From that standpoint, look, if you're not gonna do it right, um my I'm under the impression is like just don't do it. Um, you know, go to go to something else. Look, I'm sure that they can get other game companies to you know to support it. They can even go back to something like along the classic games. Um, yeah. Go to like you know, old, kind of something. Yeah, kind of like that. That um, the game that Days talks about. That oh man, I can't remember the top, the name off the top of my head now. But they're doing a they're doing an old style. Almost looks like the old style. Um, the 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 two D graphics with the the rest of like, rest of right right. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can go back to something like that. It doesn't have to be you know, something graphically intensive if they want to stay. But, yeah, you know what? To answer your question, I think it's probably a good thing. Um, mm, yeah. You know, <laughs> just just let it go and, and then just make a deal with another company or something like that. Jeff, I don't know if you – have you have you played those at all? Yeah, I played uh, – I played last year's. I think I played uh, 2K19. I didn't get 20. Uh, I think it's a great – idea to kind of let this one go because i feel like it needs a a reboot uh i would love to see something a little bit different in term maybe in terms of 
the style of like one of the UFC games, um, something a little, something along those lines, or like you said, maybe a retro feel to it. But yeah, I just think that with everything, I think sometimes with technology, people try to get too creative and too in depth, and that can cause problems. So I yep. think you know maybe scaling it back just a little bit would be good. But I I, I think I like the fact that they're not putting this one out this year and maybe they mm. can go to a yeah, different company. Yeah, I think so. I think sometimes it's just, I, I think we're all in agreement. I, I think sometimes it's just better just to take a little break. I mean, the thing is too, they are coming out with a new system. So the PlayStation five comes out the end of the year, um, November, <laughs> December, unless it gets pushed back. So yeah, I was, I was a fan that might be pushing that back. Cause it's... It, it could be, but I think a lot of it was already finished before this started. Um, yeah. so they, I, I'm not really sure, but, but because of that, with the next gen, they may want to, you know, you might see a lot of companies actually now, um, not just the WWE game, but you might see a lot of the other companies now kind of maybe delaying or pushing things back. Because remember, all these yeah. companies have big factories, right? And they've got a lot of people at work there. They've got a lot of people in the room at the same time, the designers and all that kind of stuff. So obviously they can't, they can't be working that way. Um, just like so, Halo and all that. Right? Right, right. So I think a lot of the stuff, unfortunately, is, is unless it was already made or pretty close to being made, I think a lot of it's going to get pushed back. I was talking to a guy yesterday at work about this because we were talking about Final Fantasy VII. And um, I, I have it. I love it. Um, and he had, he had finished it already. Um, and we were just talking about the next part. And the next part was supposed to be released. I, I, you know, it's, it's, they didn't really have a static date for it but it was supposed to be released as part of the, the next gen consoles. So I was talking to him about that saying like, well, when do you think, you know, and, and he had mentioned to me, he's like, well, he said, I, I kind of think they already have most of it done. And he said, because they've been working on the game for probably four or five years now, or maybe a little longer. Yeah. So he said, they probably have most, right. They probably have most of it done, but they think that they might, you know, it might just be a thing where they just have to get things buttoned up a little bit and everything. And, and obviously again, you can't do any of that stuff with the world the way it is. So it, it is going to have some sort of a delay. Yeah, definitely. But, um, but yeah, I, again, I think it's, I think it's good to sometimes just take a step back and reevaluate whether they decide to go with a different company, maybe other than Jack specific and other than the 2k line, you know, maybe go with a, need, a different company. They could always look at uh, EA Sports. They could always look at other, you know, there, there's other companies out there that can partner with to, to, do, things, uh, to do things with. And, and yeah, who knows? Um, it, it's, it's a very weird time. And uh, listen, I, I know they will want to get something out there because obviously AEW is rumored to have one coming as well. Um, yeah. So if AEW gets one out, and I think theirs is supposed to be kind of retro looking, um, mm. it's not going to have the, the next gen graphics and, and the, the wrestlers aren't going to look like perfectly like the, the wrestlers that are out there. So, well, they're it, saying it's because the, um, the new, the same software that WWE had when they left with WWE, like okay. sorry, the, the same company that did the graphics for WWE before they left. Okay. 2K. Gotcha. They're doing it for AEW. Well, there you go. So, so it's, it is going to be, you know, less, less graphic intensive and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if they go that route, then uh, you can bet that, you know, that, that could be something that WWE might look into. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. Man. So um, are you a collector? Do you collect wrestling stuff in it and everything like that? I know you said you were watching the toy videos that Days does. You collect like figures from wrestling or any of that stuff? Funny, don't, funny enough, I don't. Okay. So come from a f funny, funny place. Okay. I've, didn't care because um, of situations. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't been. It's just one of those people that watch it. Okay. I'm get t-shirts. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, I, I tell you, we talked to a lot of people who have a, a, you know, bigger collections and stuff. I, I can't say that I ever did. I only have actually two uh, figures in, in my lifetime that I've ever bought. I have uh, uh, the NWO Hogan figure and I have an old Kane figure that I got when he first came around. And other than that, that's been pretty much about it. I really never, um, 
I never really collected it either. I mean, obviously it's a big, big market and uh, I like watching the, the, the old days videos or his toy hunt videos, just because it reminds me, I do collect things, just not wrestling stuff. So, I mean, it reminds me of the good old days when uh, in America here, we used to be able to walk into a Toys R Us um, and go in there and shop. And it's the same thing as what, you know, Dave shows in his videos where he goes yeah. to those bigger toy stores. And we unfortunately here don't have them anymore. Um, so it's just like now, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. A lot of it now is just, uh, you have to get things online. You can, I mean, you could find them in bigger chain stores like Walmart and, uh, Target is a big chain, you know, here. So stores for it. Yeah, you could find store, but a lot of that, unfortunately, now, you know, the collector's market is very tough because you, mm -hmm. it, people will run out to those stores. A lot of times they have people at work there that tell them when they're there to come and get them. And then they just run to the store and they grab it before anybody else can. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's frustrating because you just don't, see, you know, you get to there and you get there and then everything's gone already. And then what they do is they end up throwing it right on eBay. Mm -hmm. So they're not even really buying it for themselves. Right. Yeah, they're they're buying it to sell, so mm. it's unfortunate, but um, yeah, makes you makes you kind of not want to do those things anymore. So mm, exactly, yeah, yeah. So what are you looking forward to uh, uh, the most in in wrestling? Are you looking forward to Money in the Bank? Funny enough, I'm excited to go to um, London because um, I'm going in October. Hopefully, if this pandemic goes. In October, I'm going to Raw and SmackDown tapings. Oh, nice! Um, obviously, I've sent you guys some pictures previously, um, and yeah, and I, I'm so excited because the, the atmosphere is always electric, and I mean, I mean, literally, it's so so loud. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you you guys only get what is it? Is it two? Two events there that they yeah. do? Well, this year it's only one. If, oh, it, only, yeah, well, that's, if, it, yeah. if it carries on, probably none. <laughs> oh, so. boy. Well, I hope uh, I hope everything works out for you by then. Um, I know there's a live event supposedly coming uh, closer to my area around that time too. I think it's a SmackDown show as well. So I yeah. hope, uh, let's let's hope that everything works out for you and uh, and and you get to see it. Um, and uh and everything's kind of calmed down by then um and you know they, they figure something out i know days mentioned that maybe they'll have people like seat uh you know be in di like different seats where you know they'll keep people apart somehow in the arena where they won't sell the arena out um and they'll just sell like you know seats like every five or six yeah. seats away from another person um, yeah i I was thinking they may do that in movie theaters at some point too, just not allow you to sit next to people. So oh, it's, if it's done, just play out in the Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's going to be hard to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's, especially if people want to go in a group. You know, if people, you know, two or three friends want to go together, and you have to sit like six rows apart, it's going to be it's going to be really hard to do that. Also, it's going to be really hard to sell tickets uh, because the tickets will sell out. Okay, you know, that was weird. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, man. Well, uh, so listen, um, would, uh, why don't you, um, tell everybody out there, uh, where you are on social media. Um, if they want to, uh, they want to shoot you a message or anything like that. What do you, what do you, where are you at on social media and do you have a YouTube I'm site? On Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Go ahead. I'm on, I'm on Twitter. Um, Jason peace or Jason dot peace, not number nine. Um, just hit me up from there and follow me. Nice. Um, and I've got a YouTube channel called like Doctor Who, so D Who, so D W H O one six zero fifty four at gmail dot com. And that's my YouTube channel. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I've got cool, a little bit of things, including uh, the video, including yeah, the videos of. My reactions to Manchester, November last year. So, oh, yeah. Nice. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, there you go. And obviously, anybody can check you out in our community as well. Um, I know you're, you're a very active member in the community, and you're usually in the chat quite a bit. So, very cool, man. Well, hey, listen, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, joining us today. I hope, uh, I hope we didn't make you too nervous. It's been a pleasure. No, it was fine. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. 
We don't we don't bite. Jeff and I try not to bite people we through the microphone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to oh, um, inside this thing as well? No, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's cool, buddy. Uh listen, it was nice getting to know you a little bit and, and getting to chat with you. It's always fun chatting with somebody uh across the pond overseas there, as uh obviously <laughs> we don't get to talk to you guys all that much. So it's always cool. And uh yeah. listen, go ahead. And it's nearly eight o'clock, eight p.m. In oh, the UK. yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys are five hours so, ahead of us, I think. Yeah. So it's two p.m. Probably coming up to the three p.m. where almost, you are. So. Almost three. Yeah, that is correct, sir. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Well, well, listen, man. You stay safe um, and and uh, and hunker down in your house until this all ends, and uh, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully, you uh, you will get to see that live event. That would be awesome. That wouldn't be amazing. That'd be awesome, buddy. Well, good luck mm -hmm. to you, man. Hey, thanks Anybody. for joining us. Yeah, man. Thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you again sometime. I need you, buddy. All right, man. Take care. Take care. You too, much. Bye-bye.